In this video, I want to briefly walk you through how to collect data for our toy car lab. Our toy car lab is our first investigation of the year. We're investigating a fairly basic kind of motion, which is something moving in a straight line at a constant speed. And you can see in all these cases, we have a little battery operated toy car, which is moving at different speeds in different directions. For our investigation, we're going to look at the relationship between the position of the car, where is it, at particular times. And so in class, we used cars out in the hallway and marked where the car was on the floor with a dry erase marker at specific times. Since likely you're watching this because you weren't in class when we took data, I'm going to walk you through how you can use a video to take similar data. So what's the data that you're going to need? Well, for the video you're going to analyze, you want to have six to eight different positions at six to eight different times so we can graph that and talk about what that graph actually tells us about the car moving at a constant speed. In order to collect that position in time data, you're going to click on one of the links in the video description below, which is a video of one of those toy cars moving at a particular speed in a particular direction. I'm just going to use the video linked titled Toy Car Lab Video Number 3. So let me expand this a little bit. Uh, let's just play this through and see what this is. It's just a red car moving from right to left towards a position of zero, and it's got a little timer in the upper left-hand corner. Now, this only takes about three seconds or so, and you want to be able to pause this to figure out, well, where is the car at a particular time, and let it keep running, and where is it at another particular time? So let's start from the beginning of the video. And so that it's a little bit easier to pause it maybe at specific times. If you click on the little gear icon and go to playback speed, I would suggest putting it on a quarter speed. So when you play it, um, time isn't moving quite as fast. And so maybe we want to figure out where is the car at exactly at 0.5 seconds and where is it at 1 second and where is it at 1.5 seconds, etc. Because in the three seconds, we need to get six to eight different data points. So let me pause the video. And I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. And so what's your first data point? Well, your first data point would be at time zero, where is the car? Well, the, the front of the car looks like is at about 92 centimeters. In the back of the car, there's 105, 6, 7, 8. The back of the car is about 109 centimeters. Let's just say the front of the car will be its position. So the front of the car at time zero is at a position of 102 centimeters. So that would be your first data point. At time zero, it's at a position of 102 centimeters. Well, question might be, well, where is the car 0.5 seconds later? So I'm going to play it, pause it at 0.5. There we go. So at 0.5 seconds is a different time. This is 50, 60, 70, 80. Looks like it's at a position of 78 centimeters at 0 0.5 seconds. I'll play it again, let another half second go by. There we go, at one second. So after one second has passed, this is 50, 60, 5. It's at a position of about 66 centimeters. So letting the time go for about a half a second each time, you can figure out where the car is relative to this zero position over here. And if you do that six to eight different times, you'll have a data table with six positions and six, well, six to eight different positions and six to eight different times. And then in another video, I'll talk you through what do we do with that data in terms of making a graph and further analysis. So now it's your turn. Choose one of the four videos in the description below, video one, two, three, or four. And then you're going to collect at different times. You're going to measure what the position of the front of the car is. And you could do that either for half second intervals, so at 0, 0.5, 1, etc. Remember, you need six to eight different data points. Or if the car is moving slow enough, the video might be long enough, you could just take data each and every one second. And then, like I said, there will be another video that talks about how, what are you going to do with this data, how do you graph it, how do we do further analysis.